The graph of the function g is shown below. What is the input value for which g of x is equal to negative 2? So what they do over here is along the x-axis, these are the inputs, and then the graph shows us what's the output. So when x is equal to 7, g of 7 we see here is 1. If x equals 9, g of 9 here is 2. If x equals 6, g of 6 is equal to the y coordinate at this point is equal to 0. So what is the input value for which g of x is equal to negative 2? Well, this graph right over here, this is y equals g of x. So g of x equaling negative 2 means y is equal to negative 2. And so when does y equal negative 2? Well, when does y equal negative 2? It looks like that happens right at this point. And that happens when you input negative 9 into g. g of negative 9 is negative 2. So this is going to be negative 9. And we're done.